I'm on Leonardo AI, which is a free artificial intelligence solution. And you can click on right here for image generation. And when I click on image generation, I get a little bit nervous here when I look at the text box. I type in things like dog, cat. I'm like, hmm, cat wearing a hat. Like, I don't know what to type, right? I typically will do simple prompts, but you can actually do really complex prompts. Well, how do you do that? When you hover over any of these designs, which are sitting in the community creations, or should be on your main page when you first log in, you can hover over any of the designs and you'll see that there's a pretty big, in many cases, a very detailed text prompt. So if I'm gonna click on this one, for example, ancient Spartan army with thousands of Greek soldiers. Amazing, right? Well, the prompt details are sitting right here and you can copy these. So I can click right here, copy prompt to clipboard. Just like that, it's now copied. I can also see how this was created. This is the preset is cinematic. The model is Leonardo Vision XL. So I can close this out and I can at least try to do this on my own. So I'm gonna use the preset of cinematic. So I'm gonna go now to image generation right here on the top left. Now for my preset, I'm gonna click it on the top left and I'm gonna click on cinematic Kino. And I'm gonna close this out. And now for my prompt, I'm just simply gonna do control V. I'm gonna paste what's in the original prompt. You'll see it generates here at 14 credits. And now I can also preset style. You'll see it says cinematic. Well, there it is there. And I'm gonna click generate image. So we can see here I've got my output now down below. I've got four images that were created using Leonardo Kino XL. There's lots of different little tweaks you can do inside of Leonardo AI. There's advanced settings, for example. So this may not come out to be the exact same. Plus, it is artificial intelligence, and so it's going to render a drawing or an illustration that's slightly different every single time. So I'd recommend one of the things that's really fun about Leonardo is you can try this again and again, and you can tweak settings. You can go in here to preset styles, and you can go through and pick different ones and see if that changes the way your output looks. So you can have a lot of fun with Leonardo AI. I hope you found that helpful. Quick little tip there. Here's another video on how you can have some fun using Leonardo AI.